Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now we have our first guest in the studio. We'll be having a conversation about self-confidence. Confidence. Now this woman co-authored a book where she talks about 40 lessons she learned on her journey to 40. And I'm excited. I can't wait to hear some of the lessons. And in the course of this, we'll be looking at self-confidence, asking her personally what it means to her, how she's been able to build this, how she's been able to deal with complex. Because I do believe that everybody or almost everybody at some point in their lives have dealt with self-confidence or uh, complex. Now, our guest today is Funke Suzanne Medu. She is the author and executive director of Leap World, a leadership empowerment and performance assessment outfit. Thank you so much for joining us, Funke, on the show today. Thank you for having me. All right, so uh, we're looking at self-confidence. And first of all, I must say congratulations on being able to author a book. I know that's definitely not, it's no mean feat. It is not easy. In fact, the last lesson says, that's Joke. So I'm a co-author. Okay. I have another, a co-author called Joke Ali. One of the lessons Joke shared, and the last lesson, he said, we need to give credit to people who start a book and finish it. So really? it's not easy to start and finish. We went through a lot. So we now respect people that write. So how long did it take you guys to write that book, actually? Um, it took us about three, four months. Oh, yeah, yes. About three months. Okay. Now, yeah. we're, we're having a lesson on self-confidence, which I think is absolutely important because the average young girl, young boy, would face issues of inferiority complex, insecurities. And at some point, even as we grow older, at different levels, your confidence is being challenged. And over the years, the things and the lessons you've learned are what will help you stand your feet or, or, or find your ground. Let's look at lessons to your 15-year-old self on self-confidence. When you look back at when you were younger, what were some of the things you worried so much about? And now, knowing what you know, what would you say to your 15-year-old self? Oh, when I was 15 years old. So, taking it from my book or from the book I co-authored, Lessons Learned on Our Journeys to 40, I think when I was 15, I'll be in my SS2, yeah, senior class two. I was just worrying about what I wanted to be in life. I was so conscious of morals, what to do. I could judge for Africa. <laughs> I, was, I was a senior prefect. So you can imagine oh. I was very strict. I, I thought I had to be the best. You know, perfectionist tendencies. But given what I know now, and in that book I said, don't judge others. Because you might find yourself in that same situation you used to judge other people. So, given what I know now, maybe I would have relaxed, enjoyed life more, you know, try to be more tolerant of others, probably, and just enjoy life. I put it in that book that live your life, enjoy life. You know, don't be too serious. So, for, for, <laughs> for, for concerning the book now, um, Lessons Learned Before 40, what are those things that affect women? you know, before they get to the age of 40, when it comes to self-confidence, there are different ways we could reach this out from, from the issue of dating, marriage, financial stability. There's always that fear of the next woman looking at this person and saying, this person is more successful than me. What do you think? How do you think self-confidence can be robbed on all of that? So again, another lesson from that book is everyone's path is different. So I think growing up, a lot of people lose their self-confidence because they think they're not doing well enough in life. And you look at your mates where they are, and you think they've left you behind. So I wrote there in that book that everybody's path is different. So whatever you are, just take your own journey. So you see young people, maybe, so let's look at the people that are undergrads, okay? Undergrads will be competing with maybe someone who came from a wealthy home, they look more comfortable than you. You could grow up and have those things, buy them with your own money. So that should not be your bother. You should think about how to be successful. So you don't need to lose your self-confidence because you think you cannot measure up to some people at that point. So, um, and that applies to a lot of young people. So they lose their self-confidence because, maybe because of their own background. So a lot of things affect how confident a lot of people can be. It could be your upbringing, it could be the environment you grew up, it could be the exposure, the level of exposure you have, okay? So when people leave their comfort zone, there's a tendency for you to feel uncomfortable or for you to feel not very confident. If you see people that you think 
have gone ahead of where you are. So there's that tendency. But if, given what I know now, everybody's part is different, honestly. I bought my first car at 25 with my own money. Wow. Yes, 25 years old, I paid with my own money to buy a car for myself. But you see, maybe younger, if I didn't have a car, or maybe my parents didn't have a car, you may be feeling funny or a little self-esteem compared to people that you see them coming to campus or to school with their cars. But this is you at 25, taking your own money to buy a car. And that's why I said everybody's path is different. So just take your own journey. Don't let the fact that you think other people have gone ahead be a bother to you and lose your self-confidence because of that. Just work on yourself. If there's one thing I'm learning as well is the fact that peer pressure or pressure generally has no age limit. So I believe that at every point in our lives, we need to learn, unlearn, and relearn at this stage of your life. Have you dealt with any insecurities and have you been able to, ch to handle them? Um, that's a big one. <laughs> but it's real. So the interesting thing about this age is that midlife crisis is also real. Although some people say, so you can believe whatever you want to be, believe. Some people say there's nothing like that. It's in your head. It's in your mind. But whatever it is, you get to a stage in your life that you start appraising what you've been doing. You start reviewing your life or your achievements, especially if you are goal-driven like me. So you want to be this. A lot of things I had wanted to be growing up, but I mean, I didn't achieve all of them. I'm not, I don't think I'm also doing bad. So how I help myself a lot of times is I look at my past achievements. So I've learned over time to praise myself for the things I've done. I just told you I bought a car at 25. When I think about it, babe, you've not done badly. How many people can do that? So I try to count my blessings. I try to see how well the things have, the awards have won, all those kind of things. So I try to reaffirm positive things about me. I say positive things to myself. A lot of times I look at the mirror and I say, you are such a fine girl, or you're a pretty girl. In fact, my, my <coughs> siblings will be laughing at me and they will say it again, you're a fine girl. Yes, you are a fine girl and I'm a fine girl. Say it to yourself and you'll be fine. Okay, so you also have to know what works for you. Before I came in here, I took Tom Tom. Very funny. Well, not, I'm not advertising Tom Tom, so let's say mint. So just find whatever you think is your own ritual or routine. I just got so used to it. In my mind, if you know that you, you look good, I like my red lipstick. It's like my, my signature. You know, I just love it. So you have to find what helps you to, be, to make you comfortable about yourself. You have to learn to be comfortable with yourself, and that will help your self-confidence. So I have a couple of things. I can, if you want to pay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's talk about your yes. book. Your book yeah. is launching in December. Where is it happening? When is it oh, happening? Oh, yeah. So December 9th, here we come. We'll be launching at Radisson Blue. Um, 40 Lessons on Our Journeys to 40, Radisson Blue. That's where it will be happening. We've also done a few lunch for premium so one on one. So we had a couple of people they supported us even before the official launch. But the official launch is at Radisson Blue December 9th. So one question, is it just for the official launch? Is it just women who are close to the age of forty, around forty and all of that? Are they just the only people that should come for that launch? Also oh, that launch is limited in fact. Okay. You know, we have a space. That venue cannot take Everybody would have loved to have there. Okay. Okay, so, but people will come. So, taking the book beyond the launch, the book is for everybody. But we can narrow it down to people between the ages of 18 to 50. And people above 50 or 60 that would like to buy for younger people. Everybody learn. Okay, so you, you may want to learn from our stories. Parents want to learn from our stories so they know how to engage their own children, you know? So it's parents can learn from it. People that are 40 can learn from that. Okay. And so there's a lot of things to help with self-confidence in that book, mm. by so the way. I want to ask this last question. Yeah. Is there anything like overconfident? Do you know when I was So maybe in we school? should also add that, is there, where do you draw the thin line between confidence and 
being cocky, being confident and being cocky. Okay, I think I like it better like that. So talk to me about overconfidence. I used to come first when I was in secondary school. I remember that there was a time I came second and someone told me you're overconfident. So if, maybe that's not the right word to use. So maybe sometimes you feel like you've arrived. What was I doing then? Maybe I stopped reading, so I thought I could gather everybody in Nigeria together. And, you know, I was teaching, actually. It wasn't a bad thing. But maybe I left my own studies because I thought maybe I knew it all. Until we had... No, I didn't come second. We had two people that were first. My parents stopped me from all those social engagements and, you know, I had to go back to reading my book so that I can be first again. I mean, only first. So probably sometimes we think we've arrived. We ignore the basics. Some people even forget how they started. Okay, so I think we should always review from time to time, you know, be focused on your goals. And about being cocky, yes, some people can be cocky, but that's a very bad attitude, that's a bad behavior, especially if you think you are superior, you know, so you have that tendency of being cocky. And you can easily talk down people, so you have to also watch your words. So because I think I'm very social, for example, or I think I can talk anywhere, you have to pay attention that you don't talk down on people. Okay. okay. Or ignore other people's feelings. So you have to be very emotionally intelligent. All right. Thank you so much for joining us on Hello Nigeria. Oh, highly emotionally intelligent. Right? Yeah, very, Thank very. You. Thank you so much for joining us. You're welcome. We've been having a conversation with Funke Suzanne Medun, who is all, who is the director and the founder of Leap Africa, and as well a co-author of 40 Leap Lessons World. Before 40, Leap World Africa. How Leap can Africa, people follow Leap you on World. social media? Leap World. Yeah, Leap World. I said that. Yes, How can yes, people follow you on social media? On social media, so fun, at Funke Medun. Yeah. That's, I'm on Instagram, I'm on Facebook, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on Twitter. All right. Even our book, we have a social media, uh, we have social media links for the 40 lessons linked on our journeys to 40. So we have lessons at 40 on Facebook and on Instagram. All right, so you got the social media handles. Follow, engage, have a conversation, ask questions, and participate. Thank you so much for joining us. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.